So here's how to create a hosting or account and you, my friend, are in luck. At the time of creating this, there's gonna be a Black Friday deal. And even when that timer ends, I believe it's gonna extend a little further. They're gonna have some deals after that. So first and foremost, I highly recommend that you click the link down below the description or the pinned comment. While it is my affiliate link, I keep it updated so that you automatically get some of the best deals, as you can see right here. I'm also gonna show you how you can even save more in the process, so we got a lot of great things going on here. So once you arrive on this page, what you wanna do is click on the Claim Deal button, and it's gonna scroll down right to where the pricing is. So very quickly, when it comes to creating an account, I'm gonna go over each of these and just quickly describe which one's probably gonna be the best for you because you might be unsure about that. I will also have some timestamps, so if you already know which one you need to pick, feel free to do that, but let's dive in. So premium, as you can see, everything you need to get started. In my opinion, this is gonna be best for if you're a beginner or like a super noob. You've never, a super noob, that's a funny word phrase. Uh, if you've never created any websites before or if you're looking to create maybe one website, not do a ton of traffic or volume on it, or ultimately maybe you wanna create up to three websites, this is gonna be fantastic for you, okay? So if you're beginning stage, just getting started, premium is gonna be great. Now, when you go to the most popular business, when you look at it, it's only about like what, 50, about 80 cents more per month. So it's actually not too bad of a deal. So even if you are a beginner, you might wanna take a glance at this because it does have a lot of great perks. As you can see right here, you can now create up to 50 websites. We don't need help, we're talking about that right now. You get 50 gigs of storage, five mailboxes. And one of the biggest things here is gonna be the daily and on-demand backups to prevent any data loss. If you look right here, it's gonna be weekly backups versus daily. So if you feel like someone that might be breaking things, like for me personally, I have definitely broken WordPress before and I had to get a backup and it would have been horrible had I created all these blog posts, make all these edits, and I have to go back a week and lose all of that content that I created. So that is something to keep in mind if you want a little bit more peace of mind. Granted, there are gonna be some other perks that come along with it, but I think that's one of the biggest ones. It's like, do you wanna create one to three websites? And then yeah, this plan's gonna be perfect for you. Do you want more than that? Do you want more gigs? And do you want like the on-demand daily backups? Then business is probably best for you. Cloud Startup, if you're looking to create a ton of websites, if you need more power, if you need more gigs, like are you looking to create more than 50 websites and up to 100? If you answered no, then you probably don't need this. So that one's pretty straightforward. So ultimately, for most people, it's not like I get to talk to you specifically, but it's either premium or business and very few will have that Cloud Startup. That's if you're looking for a lot of websites and power overall. So pick whichever one's gonna be best for you. And here, I'm just gonna click on choose plan. So make sure you choose the one that's best for you. All right, and now we get to the very fun part where we get to save even more money. So if you look at the bottom right where it says the subtotal, you have all these discounts you're gonna be getting. You also do get a free domain name for the first year, which is fantastic. What you wanna do is click on it where it says have a coupon code. Let's click right here. What I want you to do is type in island, I-S-L-A-N-D, and click on apply. And just like that, you are gonna get an extra 10% off my way of saying thank you so much for checking out this video. So two things, make sure you do check out the link in the description to make sure you're getting updated on what the best pricing plans and deals that Hostinger has to offer. And then of course, when you are getting up and running, just put in that coupon code island and you're gonna save even more money. Okay, so now let's actually talk about some of the periods that you're gonna be using for this. Whenever you're getting hosting, you can choose from one month, 12 months, 24 or 48. I never recommend one month. It's such, there's no deal whatsoever. Pretty much strips all the discounts you're gonna get. But ultimately, if you know you're gonna be using your website for a good amount of time, 48 months is gonna be fantastic. Not only are you getting your free domain, but you get the three months of free hosting included with this. So it totals out to around $2.96 a month. So if we go to 24 months, Remember it was around, or it was $2.96 a month. Now it moves up to $3.59 a month on average. So for this, you just get the free uh, domain for one year. You don't get those three free months. And then we have 12 months. Before it was $3.59, now it moves up to $4.04 a month. Once again, free domain for a year. You don't get those three free months. And this is exactly why I don't recommend one month. Let's click on it. There you go. They don't allow you to use a coupon code. Uh, you don't even get a free domain. There's a $5 setup and it's $14 a month right off the bat. So 
as you can see here, there's just like no discount whatsoever. It's just pretty much useless in my opinion. So I highly recommend going for one of the three here, which should be fairly obvious as you can see with like the details. Uh, I think 48 months is going to be the best. You get the biggest discount overall. It costs the least amount of money. And of course, after all of these are, after your 48 months period runs out or your 24 or 12, it's gonna renew at $14 a month, which overall, Pretty good price if you ask me. There are a lot of companies that cost that much just getting started to get up and running, but this is clearly gonna be the best value and you're only paying, if you were using this plan, we don't need help, $142.13. So that's gonna be pretty cool. There are gonna be some maybe taxes, so it could be a little bit more, but all in all, a pretty good deal if you ask me. You can get your domain right away and publish your website faster if you want. You would simply search for your domain name here, but if you want to, what I had always done is just once you actually get started with Hostinger, you can actually do it on the inside. But let's just say marketing dude dudes, okay, like .com. So let's say like that was gonna be it, okay? Oops, clicked off of it. And let's say that's going to be it, so it's gonna be $0 for your first year. Okay, so you have the two year option here, so you can get one year free, obviously. It really depends on what you wanna do, and then it's going to renew at you know $18 a year for two years, which is a pretty good price for a domain, right? Not a whole lot going on there. So that's if you wanna actually get your domain right now. If you're unsure of the domain name that you wanna use, no problem, you can just click on the delete right here. All right, and you're simply just gonna go back to what you had. So like I said, you can do this on the inside of Hostinger or you can do it right here. It's completely up to you. There's pretty much one or two steps left and it's gonna be clicking on the continue button right here. And what you need to do here is simply just register. You can do it with Gmail or just simply enter in your email address. Make sure you use a legit one because they're gonna be sending you information about your account that's very important. Once you register, the last page is simply gonna be checking out. It's gonna give you a rerun of everything that you're gonna be getting, plus all the discounts added up along with your coupon and the discount that you might have used by going through that link down below. And that's pretty much gonna be how you can get up and running with a hosting or account. I'm not gonna register because I already have an account, but it is pretty straightforward and all the information that you're gonna be entering is gonna be yours, so I can't do that for you anyway. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial when it comes to creating a hosting or account. And depending on when you're watching this, you might be able to get some very valuable deals. Even if that Black Friday deal had ended, there's always gonna be more around certain holidays or sometimes hosting or just creates deals out of nowhere. You know, they, they do a lot of discounts, which is great. You also have the island coupon code, which can save you even more money. So be sure to check out that link. I hope this tutorial really helped you out and allows you to save money in the process when getting up and running with an account with Hostinger. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.